Hello there, creative colors. Ever found yourself trying to connect two pieces of hardware with mismatched plaques? In those cases, an adapter comes to rescue, right? So today we are going to explore the equivalent in the realm of programming, the adapter pattern. So what exactly is the adapter pattern? Imagine this, you have got a pair of headphones with a 3.5 millimeter jack, but your new phone only has a USB-C port. That's a bummer, right? Not if you have an adapter. Similarly, the adapter pattern works as an intermediary that converts one interface into another, enabling components with incompatible interfaces to communicate smoothly. Also, let's talk about characteristics. The adapter pattern has defining attributes. Primarily, it transforms the interface of a class into another interface that clients anticipate. Much like a headphone adapter that permits you to connect a traditional 3.5 millimeter jack to a USB-C port. Secondly, it facilitates, it facilitates cooperation between classes with mismatched interfaces. It's just like your headphones and your new phone. Let's talk about benefits and drawbacks of adapter pattern. Like that handy adapter in your tech driver, the adapter pattern also comes with its advantages and also disadvantages. First, promotes compatibility. The adapter pattern ensures disparate interfaces can work together seamlessly. It's like just like your headphone adapter allows you to listen to music on your new phone. Second, enhances flexibility. The adapter pattern like your tech adapter offers flexibility by enabling different classes with incompatible interfaces to collaborate. And yet, yeah, it's not always smooth sailing. First drawback, additional complexity. As carrying multiple adapters for different devices can be a burden, the adapter pattern can add complexity to your code by introducing more classes. Second, overuse risk. Just like how ever relying on multiple adapters can lose the tangled mass, overuse of the adapter pattern can result in code that's harder to manage and understand. Let's talk about use cases. So, why should we consider the adapter pattern? Let's return to our technology analogy. First, when interfaces are mismatched. As you would use an adapter to bridge mismatched tech interfaces, the adapter pattern comes in handy when two incompatible interfaces need to work together. Second, reusing legacy code. Just like using an adapter to connect an old gaming console to a new TV, the adapter pattern can be used to integrate older non-compatible code into newer systems. Third one, integrating third-party libraries. Analogous to using an adapter to connect peripherals from different manufacturers, the adapter pattern is useful when integrating third-party libraries with incompatible interfaces into your code base. Fourth, developing plugin architectures. Much like how a universal power adapter, you know, facilitates the use of devices from different countries, the adapter pattern is beneficial in developing a plugin architecture, where the plugins need to adhere to the interface provided by host application. Fifth, enabling cross-platform functionality. As an adapter can help your devices function worthwhile, the adapter pattern can be used to create a common interface for system calls across different platforms. As a conclusion, 
There you have it, it's an amplified understanding of the adapter pattern. Like a versatile adapter, it's an essential tool in the programming landscape. It's to enhance compatibility and flexibility. If you have any questions or buzzing, don't hesitate to drop them in the questions and answer section. I am here to assist you. If you are finding the course beneficial, please leave a review or a rating. Your feedback is the voltage that energizes better content. Keep progressing throughout the course. A multitude of knowledge helps awaits and you surely don't want to skip any of them. Thanks for being a part of today's season, folks. Keep on coding and ensure the current keeps flowing. See you in our next lesson.